Hey, me again at BA Fabrication. Today we're working on a customer's 2004 Volkswagen Golf. Um, he bought some new headlight housings and would like them replaced. As you can see, the old ones are pretty nasty. Also, if you can see my breath, it's about 35 degrees. Um, <clears throat> and the heat is still down. But hey... We, uh, we have parts to work on that, and we will get that fixed up here relatively shortly. We'll probably do some sort of a video with us doing something ignorant, uh, because we're so happy it works. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to go to how to remove the front bumper and headlight assemblies from an 04 Volkswagen Golf. I understand this fits many different uh, models, but uh, this is the one we have in-house, so. This is the Golf. Uh, you pull the grill out of here. This is the grill. It's pretty simple. It's got a couple clips at the bottom. It just sits down in there like that. And you take a screwdriver or something. And there's a clip here, 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 and here. This comes out back at you and you lift straight up. <clears throat> and then there's a little clip here. And uh, I guess I screwed up by already having done this. But anyways, this thing just lifts straight up. It pivots. And then you can spread the uh, handle here. You can spread that out and pull it out over that pin. And the whole thing just lifts off. And then... You have two vents, one on each side. They have little clips at the top. I took a thin flat bladed screwdriver and I put it about right there and about right there and popped each clip down and then was able to just take my hand and pull that out. There were some Torx bolts here. They're shoulder bolts so you can't tighten them too tight and that kind of thing. I took just my regular old Craftsman cordless drill and a T27 and ran that one, that one, that one, out, and then there's some screws along the back side of this, and again on this other side. Once all that is out, she's loose. I'm gonna pause video because my hands are now full. That's off. The job ain't too bad. I had already pulled these uppers upper screws off that's in super condition and then there's some lowers All right in here flashlight time lower lower and then we got some bulbs to swap out and beyond that we will be done it's important to mention that these clips are pretty substantial. Um, there's a little tab right there. I don't know what's out of focus. Uh, it actually has the lift. Um, and then there's a little hole, right? Not that one, that one. And I actually put a screwdriver straight down in it and just pried backwards a little bit. I heard it click and was able to really easily slide that off. I don't know if that's always going to be the case with these because I felt like it was on there pretty tight. But uh, again, that's how I did the clip. It actually looks like these assemblies came preloaded and they are pretty I mean somebody's gonna have to wash the car after these get put on these are these are sharp and I'm sure they will greatly improve the uh, owner's driving experience I know his wife primarily drives it uh, and she had complained that these were pretty gnarly compared to those so I think she'll be a lot happier I'm gonna go pull that other one and we'll start putting stuff back together Okay, got some new shinies put on there. Um, they are plugged in. I wanted to mention, I was just tightening stuff like this with a uh, sort of like screwdriver, one of my T-handles. Um, here's the reason why. I've got impact drivers and stuff that'll tighten that up really fast and really tight. Um, I actually caught some crap about this from... Two different service managers and some co-workers when I was working in dealerships. Uh, 
they just break really easy. Plastic breaks really easy um, on stuff like that. It's a harder plastic. And it's just not worth breaking the assembly just because I wanted to save 45 or 50 seconds. Apparently it does, however, royally piss off the uh, service manager at a couple different dealerships to watch me put things back together by hand, which is part of the reason I quit and said, if you can't handle me doing this the best way that I know, um, then I guess you just can't handle me. Uh, and I escaped that dealership world for a couple of years and, and had to come back to fixing things because that's where my gift is. And uh, yeah, we're going to put a bumper back on and stop talking about me. It's also important to note that this is a great time to put your marker lights back in as you're putting your bumper back on. I'm going gonna to blow this off real quick and then we're going to mock the bumper up, get it close, put the marker lights back in and then blow everything back together and she should be good to go. We do need to put it back on the ground. We need to look it over real quick because it's a customer car and if I can sell some extra work I'd like to. And, uh, and then we're going to put it back on the ground and the adjustments for the lights are done through here if I remember correctly. Uh, so one right there. We're going to try and make sure these lights are adjusted to each other. Maybe it was, yeah, it was right there. But anyways, uh, we just want to make sure these things are adjusted. This should be pretty close. Usually this stuff's pretty close out of the box. So we'll go from there. All right, they're on. They're in. Oh, that turned on. But anyways, they, uh, they look a whole lot better. It kind of makes you wish you detail the whole car. But it is a 300,000 mile special. Uh, still gets good fuel economy, starts and runs, despite having fault codes for three of the four glow plugs and a cam sensor. Um, has a brand new looking throttle body on it. And the uh, best I can tell... Wait a minute, that's not a throttle body, is it? I don't know what the... I need a beer. <clears throat> Alright, she's got new headlights. They're pretty. Kind of makes you wish you'd uh, detail the whole car, but she's a 300,000 mile... Back and forth to work wonder, and uh, that's just where we're at. So, a couple new parts on her. She still starts and runs good. Gets 40 some odd miles to the gallon. Oh, petrol um, has faults for three out of the four glow plugs, but mm, starts good ish. Uh, just a pretty solid old car. Got a couple little issues we're going to try and sell some work on. If we do, I reckon you'll see more of this guy. And uh, thanks for watching. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Proof that the fabrication works on European vehicles. I know it's just some headlights. We do a lot of work on a lot of things. Some folks aren't real fond of having their vehicles on the internet. That's fine. Um, you know, it, it ain't worth losing a customer over. Uh, these guys are pretty local. I know them pretty well, and they don't, whatever. They don't care. So, uh, and there you have it. There you are. Got the new headlights swapped in. It's not a big deal. Um, I know this was sort of a how-to video, and I wish I'd gotten some more kind of in-progress action, but really there just wasn't that much to show, guys. Uh, it's not a complicated thing. It's, uh, I don't know, 15, 18 fasteners, something like that, and uh, and she's done. A couple of clips. Big deal is just the hidden bolts, and uh, you know these just they connect differently as far as that front bumper fascia. Uh, than like a GM car would or something like that. Um, European cars uh, and domestic cars and Asian cars and stuff. That the theory as to how and why they do things and just kind of the way they go about solving their problems. Uh, if you've ever looked at the diagnostic flow charts for stuff like that, they're just completely different. You just have to be in a different headspace when you work on stuff. Uh, the Germans, you know, a lot of torque stuff. Everything's relatively straightforward with some weirdness occasionally, but it's not too awful bad. Uh, some of it's kind of complicated and some of the diagnostics are kind of weird, but uh, yeah, it, it ain't too awful bad. Uh, if an old country boy like me can, can figure it out, but you know, I got a degree in this stuff, it's what I do. So anyways, y'all have a good one and take care.